one of the main reasons I invited you on the show today was to talk about the recent spite of uh, online cart breaches. And for anyone that somehow missed this, can you just set the scene on and expand on what it was and how many companies have been affected recently? Well, there are companies that we know about and there are companies that we don't. The basic attack is you've heard about credit card skimmers. You put a payment card into a machine and somebody has put a magnetic stripe reader on it that captures the information and then they have your credit card information. If they ask you for a PIN or the validation number or a zip code, they capture that too by basically putting something, it's called a skimmer, and they capture your information as you use your card to pay. Well, turns out you can do this online too. The two most famous breaches recently were over on your side of the pond at British Airways. And then um, an electronics company called Newegg, which I've ordered from quite a lot over the years because they have excellent prices and service. Um, Before that, there was a similar but not identical attack against Ticketmaster. And this appears to be one of the new ways that breaches are happening, in part because we've applied a lot of security to various online businesses in the way that you you buy stuff that when you can't go into a database and say, show me all of the credit card numbers a customer has used because you're no longer allowed to store those, well, attackers find another way because there is a tremendous opportunity for monetary gain here. And so in one sense, these are becoming subtle attacks that are quite devious, but they're doing that because it shows that we've done a reasonably good job securing all of the basic attacks that made headlines 20 years ago. Well, just for anyone listening, I mean, here in the UK, any company that wants to accept card payments will have to reach PCI compliance. But smaller companies that process online payments very often now are enlisting the help of payment processes like Stripe, Square or PayPal to help them meet those stringent compliance standards and take away a lot of the hassle. But do you think these recent headlines suggest that even they can't actually prevent a data breach? And if anything, are they actually opening themselves up even more? These payment processors serve a valuable role because PCI compliance can be a challenge. It used to be you had to do the whole thing yourself. What's happened now with the ability to outsource a lot of your payment infrastructure is that you can depend on Stripe or PayPal or Square to do the work of being PCI compliant, highly security aware. They can divide the cost of an expensive and competent security team among all of their customers, and they can aggregate that, and that helps smaller businesses save a bundle on PCI compliance because for the most part, you can say, I'm accepting online payments, but I use one of these companies that has done all of the work. Here's their paperwork, and that's great. That's a great way to pass a PCI audit, and that's why these companies are so big and and have grown so rapidly. The challenge is that PCI was written originally in a world where you owned all the infrastructure so that it would be your website hosted on your servers in your data center with code written completely by your developers. And if I sound like I'm from a podcast interview that would have been from many years ago, there's a reason for that. Because today, the way we build applications is we outsource as much as we can. We bring in experts to help us do things that are otherwise onerous. So for payments, we hire a payment processor. We run our applications on various cloud services, whether that's virtual machines or platform as a service or containers, and we outsource that infrastructure too. So we don't own our data center. We build our applications using a variety of open source code, We build a website that is compelling by bringing together these things all in one place and so that you become almost an integrator for the payment application that you're writing. And that's where the challenge comes in, is that PCI was originally written in a world where you had a lot more control and the combination of things wasn't as big a challenge.